Hey, how much time do I have for this? This is gonna be a big job. It's not enough time. I'm gonna scan it so you guys can see this on your systems, okay? It's coming through now. You should be receiving picture. Thanks. Looks like I might be here a while. Okay, this is the last play. This is all we got. I'm gonna plan to charge. We can't let it fall into enemy hands. I'm gonna have to place this directly over the OTS. That's where it's going, okay? You got 30 seconds when I say go. It could count. I'll see you boys on the other side. Menial tasks. I have, a, I have a real hard time focusing on menial tasks. Welcome to the vlog. Okay, now that the, uh, the studio tour is out of the way and you guys have seen the place, I can get on with making more changes that I've wanted to do for a while, but didn't because I needed to make the studio video. I put that one off, like I procrastinated that one hard, like for years, actual years. And now it's time to change a whole bunch of things. So let me explain to you what's going on with this. You might be wondering like, why are you getting rid of things? What's going on with selling stuff? And have you been watching Matt Diavella? Yes, we're friends and I've been watching his stuff since the beginning, but that's not why. Well, I guess it's in part, it is why. I bought a book called Goodbye Things because I've been wanting to pare down on stuff so the things that I have remaining, the things that I use on a daily basis are things that I absolutely either love or cannot live without because they are imperative tools to my trade. That's been the driving force, the guiding light of the past few months for me. I've been paring down everything and, and I'm not just talking about photo equipment. I had a huge collection of pocket knives and companies were sending them and friends were sending them and that's great. When you're into something and brands and friends are sending you lots of those things, it's fun. But then it gets to a point where you're like, I have, I have 40 pocket knives. What am I gonna do with all of this? So I gave them all away. I probably sold about five and I gave the rest away to my friends. And that happens with photography. You buy a camera, then you buy another camera, then this camera does that thing a little bit better than that camera does. So my goal after reading this book as well was to just streamline everything around me. But for me, it bled even into this office and this space where I look at this corner. And while that corner is super useful, I am not using the rest of what I have because I'm stuck just here. So in me wanting to even streamline where things are in the office, where the objects are, where lights are, I want to use the whole space, not just a corner of the space. These things, I'm changing. I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed you. Gabriel here. Welcome back. It's nice to be back. Started his own channel. Before we even get into anything, I'll leave the link to his channel below. He's talking about drones and minimalism and life and lifestyles. So just go over to his channel, send him some encouragement. He has been helping me with this channel for four years. Gabe, Gabriel, what do you want them to call you? Uh, I always tell people the short form for Gabriel is Gabriel. <laughs> It's not Gabe, it's not Gab, it's not, did you bring your camera? It's Gabriel. <laughs> Let's talk about minimalism for like two seconds, specifically like what you have on you when you're shooting and then maybe a little bit about like what minimalism isn't. It's not about owning less stuff, it's about being intentional about what you own. So if you're trying to be a minimalist with photography, it's not about owning less gear. It's about owning what you need. So I've been saying that the cage has been stressing me out because over the years I've acquired so much gear. It ends up stacking up to the point where I, I don't even know what to use because there are so many options. And I read in that book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F 
the guy talks about like the choice paradox and how when you're presented with too many choices, even when you finally come to choose something, you'll never be truly satisfied on that thing you chose because you'll be plagued by wondering if you made the right choice based off all the other things you didn't choose. Right, and, and I mean, it was always a point of frustration for you where, where you were like, check out this new knife. I'm like, that's awesome. I, I still like my one knife. Like, how can you just Why? have one knife? Yeah. And now I want to kind of do that with gear. So I know that we've been cleaning out the cage pre-lockdown. I want to now go back and, and almost like restart because I feel like a lot of the answers I gave you originally have probably changed. Right. I feel like I only want the kit on me that can create everything I need to create at all times. There's things like that pro blend. I was just gonna say the pro blend. Yeah, it may cool. use it once a year, but. I don't need it. Yeah. I don't need it. I used it once, I got a really cool video out of it, pumped on it. I can move it on to someone else that needs it. Let's see what I get rid of. All right. I'm feeling good about this. Okay, so here we have. Do you want to do like you can only say yes to three lenses total? <laughs> it's a process. Let's go five. Five. Let's go five lenses. Okay. Okay. 24. This is my favorite lens of all time. Actually, so yes. But I don't use it. I just love it. And I, it's the most used lens ever. You just said you don't use it. I don't use it, but I love it. Ever. Yes, that's a yes, for sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, is this the macro? Oh, yes. Yes. 14 EF. Mm. It's so good for landscapes, too. And I shoot a lot of landscapes. No. Oh. Oh, I did it. <laughs> oh, oh, what a rush. <laughs> uh, 85 1 2, I believe. This is the oh, this is the B roll king. It's EF. And for that reason, I'm, I'm actually going to say no. This was such a great portrait lens. 85 1.2, just a beast of a lens getting rid of it, maybe it will end up in your camera bag, literally. Okay, speaking of photography, super fast. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. We're giving away a thousand premium memberships to Skillshare right now. So if you pause, click below, you'll probably be one of those people that gets free premium memberships to Skillshare, which is amazing. If you like taking photos and you like photography and you wanna learn some cool stuff, some new stuff, this is the place to do it. One of my favorite photographers, Chris Burkhardt, and side note, if you don't follow Chris Burkhardt on Instagram, you should probably rectify that. Uh, he's an incredible photographer and he's got two courses on Skillshare, actually one going over how to shoot sunsets and the other how to shoot better mobile photography, which I know there are so many people interested in mobile photography. I get asked all the time to make more videos about it. However, in the meantime, check out Chris's course, incredible. You can do that by clicking the link below. Skillshare have thousands of courses on there. It's not just about photography. Literally, you can learn to juggle. You can learn to cook. Literally, whatever you wanna do, hit that link in the description. And thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's go get rid of all of these lenses now. Oh, that hurt, man. That lens got me some good stuff in Iceland. 24-105, easy. No. Looks like an older macro. Uh, I used to shoot all my weddings with that, like all the detail stuff, but no. 18 to 35. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. This is great on, on like the C500 or the, yeah, that's. All what right. about like my vlog lens, like the stuff that I'm using like right now, like that 15 to 35, I'm, I'm for sure keeping. I mean, I think that the, the lens that's already on your camera doesn't count towards the purge. Ah, uh, no. No. Amazing, right. but. Slam both of these, yeah. just give them a couple yeah. gimmies. That hurts, those are great. But I think I've used them once. The Canon 800 mil oh, millimeter. Oh, that's the one we took out when you didn't bring your camera. This guy. Okay, no, no. <laughs> this is the return to Canon. That's broken, broken, right? Yeah. That's another one of those like sentimental lenses like that was everywhere. Like it was the 1DX camera and that's 16 to 35. It's broken. But it's like a trophy. No, I'm gone. Don't keep a broken gone. lens. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you. 24105. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. No right. love for the 24105. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's my first L lens. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I 24105 was my first as well. Waiting at the door 
for the, the for the UPS man to drop that off that day. I was like, oh, today it's <laughs> seventy two hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the, the, the RF. new RF, right? The EF. 7200 uh, yeah but it's so good on the red that's the problem right because oh. like, my red is ef mount so if i want to shoot anything compressed like that on the red no pile all right that was hard 2470 i think no. we know where that's going no great lens uh 35 prime really good lens but not for me oh oh no well i think no, no. really yeah no too heavy no, I'm just kidding. I, need <laughs> I was really surprised there for a second. Uh, 85 for sure. So we got 85, 24 EF. So this is the 51 too. This was in my camera bag. I use this all the time. So I think I'm gonna substitute this for the 24. All right. <laughs> so that's it. So we got 100 mil macro, 1835, 85, 7200, and 50. And then we have 15 to 35. That's a that's a good kit. And then look, all that space, all four Pelican cases down to just three lenses. So the ones that you don't want, I get those, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we just we're gonna do something a little extra for this video. This lens reminds me of Gabriel and how he forgot his camera on that epic trip to Algonquin. Uh, I don't really have a use for the 800. You might, you might not, but one of your subscribers might have a use for this. So if you want to win that lens and you want a chance head over to Gabriel's channel, subscribe, do all of those things, and uh, look for the video giving away the 800 mil RF. And in that video, he will show great remorse for forgetting his camera. All right, man, thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for helping me on my minimalist journey. It's a journey. It's fun walking it with other people and watching them go through it as well. Yeah, okay, I'll see you tomorrow for, uh, for fun activities. I'm finishing the vlog outside. Well, basically at the door because Daylight savings is next week and everything is starting to already be a little bit lighter every time we leave the office. Leaving the office in the dark for half a year starts to hurt the soul. So now that the sunshine is out again, it, it actually makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. So that's what this vlog was about. Changing things, making a difference. The new season, the new season of me. I'm pumped. Thanks for being here with me. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and I will see you in the next video. Gabriel is putting his stuff in his car right now as quietly as he can because he doesn't want to disrupt me. That's so sweet. You can slam the door, man. I really don't care. <laughs> I vlog in New York City. <laughs> see you guys in the next video.